Hey guys, checking in with you, and you know what? I'm gonna be talking a little bit about what is data quality, and I'm talking to the business. So join me. Hey guys, Garney here. Thanks for joining me on a Tech Tuesday. I have to admit something. First and foremost, this Tech Tuesday was really the to, to talk about our, another product that I received at Amazon, uh, which is pretty cool. But guess what? I left that video at home. So I was going to do this topic, this data quality topic, on Thursday. But you know what? Since I'm not home for the next few days, I better get something out there. So I'm moving this thing up to a Tuesday. So thanks. <laughs> I tell you, it's just crazy when you're traveling all over the place. But uh, hey, thanks for joining us. Hey, look, I want to talk about data quality. Now, so be offended guys, I'm talking to the business here. The people who use the data, the people who have to put the reports together, the people who ask questions about the data, and the people who make decisions on the data. Yeah, sorry IT, sorry database administrators, sorry application developers. I'm not talking to you yet. But let's start off with the moniker of, you know what, I'm gonna ask the question. Are you a data janitor? Or data steward let me ask that again are you a data janitor or data steward now what is a data janitor uh, a person that reacts to the information by cleaning up other people's well, other systems other data sets to meet their needs they spend more time cleaning the data than they are using the data data steward on the other hand is stewarding the data. They are using the data more than they are cleaning it up. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to be able to say that I can confidently put a report together without spending days or hours trying to put this thing together? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let us let me start off with what we call this, and you know, I've been doing data quality for about 12 years, and there's some basic understandings of what is data quality, so I'm going to list those things here and talk about those. And they're called the six, I call it the six paradigms of data quality. Now you can go elsewhere and everywhere else to find these things, but I've always stuck to these. And it's really helped me out to have conversations, to understand the business, to understand the data itself. So let's start off with completeness. That's an easy one. You know, if you don't have a complete address, if you're shipping something, it's not going to get there, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the easiest one. But let's talk about conformity. Conformity is number two. Have you ever had an, a data that you had to pull out of a spreadsheet, out of a PDF document, then out of somebody else's email? Yeah, they're not all from the same format, is it? Yeah, they're from different sources and different formats, and you got to pull those things in together, right? Yeah, that's not conformed data. The data is not in the same formats. Uh, to be leveraged across your reports or for your business use. Then let's talk about consistency. Is it consistent? I, you know, is it always showing up? Let, let's let's ask the question. Uh, I've had this company I was working with, and they made their chemical manufacturing company, and they were talking about uh, some of their chemical processes when they measure the date, measure the heat in the creation of the goods. Sometimes the the sensors will pick up you know, 500 degrees, and then all of a sudden for two seconds it goes down to zero, zero degrees, and then all of a sudden back up to 500 degrees. That's not consistent. I don't know about you, but I'm not a physicist, but can you actually go from zero degrees to 500 degrees and, you know, in a matter of a second? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> but it just, just doesn't seem right, right? So those are the, are those the outliers? And then that leads to accuracy. Are you shipping the documents? Are you sending the, if you have the wrong email, the data's not gonna get, the, the person's not gonna get the email, right? It could be a valid email, but if it's wrong, it's gonna go somewhere else, right? Or it just doesn't get delivered at all. So that's accuracy. But what about duplication? If the data is duplicated over and over and over again, is it qualified? Think about it. If you get, if you, how do you know that duplicated data is the right data? That, that's the that's the key things. I mean, you may look at two pictures and they may be the same, but they're slightly off. So that leads right into the next thing of integrity. Are you sure that this is the right data from the right place? Think about the duplicated, duplicated data. Are they getting it from the right source at the right time for the right reason? Or is it just that someone copied from a copy from a copy? 
And then, are you sure that's coming from a, a, a trusted source? Yeah, that's, that's, so if you think about it, completeness, conformity, consistency, accuracy, not duplicated, and it has integrity. That's the dimensions or the paradigms of data quality. So let me go back to that question. Are you a data janitor or a data steward? If you're a data janitor, you're spending a lot of your time cleaning up the information or cleaning up the data for the purpose of the report or the purpose of your business. But if you're a data steward, you're focusing more on the business decision, the business process, the making the right decisions for the right reasons against the information that you have. And if there aren't any outliers based on the six paradigms of data quality, you can take action against that. You know what, maybe that's the right, that's the, that's the point right there, guys, I'm trying to make. It, it's taking action against your data. Do you have tools that allow you to see, discover, and gain insight to your data? Yeah, to see the data, to discover what's out there, and to gain insight from that? Wouldn't you like to know that? Um, you know what, I know the IT guys can do this, and DBAs and application guys do this all the time. But you and the business, can you see it? Can you discover what's out there? What really is yours, your data? And can you gain any insight to it? That's the question, right? And do you have any tools that allow you to do that? What about working with the development team and collaborating? I mean, you know your data best and you know what you expect. What if you were given, if you know how to work a spreadsheet, wouldn't it be great to be able to create the rules for the data and then hand that off to development and development I'm calling it pseudo rules so basically these are rules that the business have created for the purpose of what they want to do and they hand those off to you so you're not interpreting what they have to say at a meeting yes I've been in many meetings I mean I'm sure you guys have too where we go in there and, and on one side of the meeting it says okay here's the business and here's what they want and they explain them ad nauseum exactly what we want and what kind of report and then the developers go, yep, 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 we got it, we understand it, and they come back, let's say two or three weeks later. And there's nothing, nowhere close to what the business wants. Because the information, now of course, the IT guys, to their defense, they're accessing the information that you've told them to access. But then again, you may not have, you the business may not have the right information. And they're going against wrong information. So you really can't blame them. But whose fault is it? Well, that's the beauty of this. We don't have to point fingers. The thing is, taking ownership of your data is just taking ownership of your data. If you have a way of seeing, discovering, and gaining insight to it, and let me add a fourth one here, you create business rules against that based upon your expectations of the data. I'm talking to you business folks that you create your own business rules for the purpose of what you want to do and you can share that with developers and developers can can come back with exactly what you want wouldn't that be better now you start moving from the data janitor role into the data stewardship role yeah that that's where we all want to be we want to be in that stewardship role we want to be making business decisions and creating new reports and gaining new insights or doing new things for the business versus trying to clean up stuff that's what we mean by, and I give credit to a friend of mine, his name's Brian, who, who came up with the data janitor uh, phrase. I like it, I really do. I mean, are you a custodian of the data where you actually have to clean up and do all this stuff all the time? Or are you truly a steward where you're dealing with only the outliers? That you already have the rules, you already know what you want to do in data. Yeah, it's a fun world to look at it. So guys, you know, I'm gonna close it there. I just wanted to say, you know what? Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Leave your feedback. What are you guys doing for data quality today? And I'm asking everybody, not just the business side. What are you guys doing for data quality today? And, you know, put your comments down below. Also, if you like what you see, guys, here, hit that like button for me. Show me your support. And you know what? More the merrier. So hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey. You know, I do a Tech Tuesday and a Tech Thursday. So come along for the ride. Let's have some fun with it. And until then, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.